Hello and welcome to the Mohit Show. General News. April 14th, 2021. I will be covering a few notable stories of the day. To start, I would just like to enjoy the irony of this image. Astounding. Now then, from UPI, scientists have found how the AstraZeneca vaccine is causing blood clots. It appears the vaccine can cause some people to develop antibodies, which cause platelets in your blood to clot inside the body. Due to this and other studies from Reuters, Denmark has become the first country to fully abandon the AstraZeneca vaccine. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is also suspected of causing blood clotting. It is due to that, that from Reuters, the EU is ending their contracts with both the AstraZeneca and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine at expiry. Next, we come to the Ukraine situation. From The Guardian, NATO is telling Russia to stop amassing their military near the Ukraine border. The US government has now confirmed that they have enough troops to invade. One solution to this situation would be to make Ukraine a member of NATO. This would mean a Russian invasion would trigger war with all other NATO members. That is not an advantageous situation for Russia. Russia has been promoting propaganda against Ukraine joining NATO. However, from Reuters, that is not Russia's decision to make. In other news, from Al Jazeera, Azerbaijan has committed one of the most hateful expressions I've ever seen in the modern day. Here is the Azerbaijani president standing in front of a wall of stolen Ar Armenian equipment. This is paralleling a previous display of Armenian bodies during the Armenian Genocide. Imagine if Germany's politicians started posing in front of concentration camps while spouting violent rhetoric. Next, from Politico, Montenegro is seeing the true nature of China's Belt and Road Initiative. One quarter of the na small nation's entire debt is owed to China for construction of highways. The highways project is not even finished. This is how a government can gain influence over another. In amazing news, from Reuters, Taiwan is saying that its chip manufacturers will adhere to US sanctions blacklisting Chinese supercomputing entities. Since Taiwan is the only place in the world that produces the highest end chips, it is nearly impossible to prove, move production. This makes it effective to block Chinese supercomputing entities from being competitive without smuggling computer chips. Since supercomputers can enable significant levels of cyber warfare, in addition to fast-tracking new research in countless fields, this is crucial. <laughs> in more updates from the Uyghur genocide being committed by the Chinese Communist Party, from Japan forward, we are getting more reports of the forced sterilizations happening in the region. This woman worked as a gynecologist. Quote from her, a lot of women were put in the back of a truck and sent to a hospital. The sterilization procedure took about five minutes each. But the women were crying because they did not know what was happening to them. We now know that multiple millions of people were surgically made infertile due to the Chinese Communist Party's actions. From the Hill, FBI Director Christopher Wray has told the Senate that the agency is opening a new in investigation into the Chinese Communist Party every 10 hours on average. The Chinese Communist Party is a direct and severe threat to every single person on the planet. They should not be tolerated even in the slightest. Next, from The Guardian, the volcano on the island of St. Vincent is continuing to explode as water and electricity are running out on the island. And finally and most importantly, from Reuters, Iran has announced that they are ready to start enriching uranium to 60% purity. 
60% enriched uranium is more than is needed for electricity generation and signals that they plan to use this uranium for nuclear weapons. Iran has a history of supplying weapons to terrorist groups around the world and has multiple different terror extremist groups within its borders. A nuclear Iran virtually guarantees that we will see the use of nuclear weapons in war again. My sources are linked below. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more news.